Yo. <laughs> What's up with it, bro? You got the green on today. <laughs> what's up with you? What's, 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 what's popping in the A, man? Everything. everything yeah? yeah. Everything's going good, though. Everything's going real that's good. What's up. Dude, you know, with the baby and shit, I'm going to try to make it short and sweet. So I'm going to leave Chelsea and the baby up here. I probably, maybe like a, I don't know, like a Friday to Monday type shit. Okay. Yeah, sound like a plan for me. All right, bet, bet, bet. Here's where we are here. This is the Atlanta Beltline. Not sure how much you know about the Atlanta Beltline. She was just about She's about to tell us about it. Um, We're from Pittsburgh. I, I, uh, I'm a Steeler fan, so you, you're all right with me already. <laughs> so this space is approximately a thousand square feet. And so, um, since I know we talked about 2,300 square feet. Um, however, when we go next door, you may be able to see how the space next door was maximized to okay. see if this actually may work. This is nice. This is legal. It's hard laying it out. It lays it out just, perfectly. If there was another 300 square feet in the back room, that shit would be crazy. A lot of the people. We got to tell her she's 100%. 100%. I like this space a lot. I just don't know about if the back room would be doable. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, we can go further out, right? But the further out we go is going to take away from the attractability of who would come to this area, right? It's really fine. I mean, I feel comfortable with BJ looking at everything I'll be, and filling me I'll be in. I'll be, you know, okay. coming to see like, I love the space. I just don't want to limit ourselves and maybe, like, you know, miss a diamond in the rough that might speak to us, you know? I feel like people are going to drive, you know what I mean? No matter what. That's what you said everybody that lives here says, right? Yeah, they're going to drive, but it's more convenient, though. You know, the convenience of not driving. But not everybody for even the lives here, For though. the tourists. Tourists are not going to spend bread with us, bro. Yeah, that's true. They're going to look and be like, oh, this is nice. Have a that's, good one. That's true. We need the people <laughs> from here. We really need the hood. We need and the, the athletes. Uh-huh. Big waves a couple months back. Oh, with so. the other cat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely, bro. Yeah, it's a small world, bro, yeah. for sure. Oh, shit. Max, Max is like, has my idols. So. Uh, 100%. People come to our shop, they make the pilgrimage up there just to, yeah, I mean, just because of Mac was there and he was like, he always rocked our shit, so that's an awesome thing. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. One of the owners. Dope. make Since I can remember. But yeah, what's your job? I know you gotta get back to work. No, you're good, bro. Mm -hmm. What is uh, Steady, S-T-E-A-D-Y. Mm -hmm. uh, posted, P-O-S-T-E-D. I got you. Should be on the yeah. first one. But right. I'm, well, yeah, I'm high right here. Okay, word. I got you, bro. Yeah, man, I'll get you. Definitely, man. Appreciate you, man. Oh, appreciate the shot coming through, bro. I was checking out the spot. You guys were busy, so I didn't really get a chance. Whatever, man. Yeah, definitely. He knows Big Germ and... Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 Small World. In New York. He came through our first spot. Like, bro, like, it's crazy, man. No, yeah, that it's music, a, it's a small world, bro. Music, man. That camera probably ain't gonna be able to stay in your hand, bro. <laughs> Just being honest. You want me to do it, bro? <laughs> My foot almost missed the break. This 
slow, bro. Boy Jay Hawk, you already know we right back with some fire, fire gear back at Daily Bread. Oh, press them pulled up. Yeah, got these fly tie dye pieces. Called the nice wavy prints. It's the black. We also coming in the blue. Also the bottoms. Let me get those. Nice wavy prints on the on the side. These is fire. Also got a few fly hats. A few fly hats and stuff. Very festive, very seasonal. Easter coming around. Got the fly true blue. Got the peach. It's a nice peach. That lavender, light purple lavender. Mmm, flavors is here. If we come down and get them before it's too late. Oh, before I forget. Uh, got the new fly socks in. New fly daily bread socks. These are court white, court white. Very dope, with very dope packaging. So when you go to order them, that's how it's gonna come to the crib. Got the super, super dope black moosh. Loving these right now. Definitely come get them before they all gone. Can you dig it? What's up guys, Mikey from Refresh. Here to show you the case. Scott just redid it. Wizard of Folding, got it looking real nice. Got a whole row of photo tees. We got Nos, we got Scarface. We got Kate, Neil Young. Shot Day. Also got some pieces to show you guys. Let's see what's in my picture. Got this cactus flea market. I like you. You're different. I like this coral color. I'm a big fan of this one. That big super puffing. <laughs> Second pick, we got the Deer Tea Supreme. I feel like this tea is super sucked on. Bill got the super big graphic on the back. Yeah. Just want to show you guys some pieces. Shop online, stop in. It's Mikey from Refresh. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys soon. What's up, y'all? It's Jenna from Refresh. Got some new Telfars in, so we're going to go through, show y'all the new colors. Let's get into it. So the first one we got is the small mustard yellow. I like it. I feel like it's leaning towards being neutral, but a good color to go with. A bunch of different colors. This one is probably my favorite of the new ones. It's called like a glue color. It almost looks like it could glow in the dark. It's like a real pale green. Super nice. This is probably my favorite size because I feel like it's just the perfect size. Not too big, not too small, but I feel like the small ones go really good with any outfit. They just, they fit as a little nice accessory. This next one, we got this blue small one. It's like a pale blue. It's a real nice color. Not, not too much of like a UNC blue, 
but nice spring color. It's getting warm out, so this will be nice to throw on. We got the tan again. Normally we hit a bunch of black tan. We don't see too many of the tan ones. I really like this one. It got the nice cream fur. Zoom in, real clean stitching. And it's just real quality feel. Like when you buy something like this, especially at a price like that, you definitely want quality feel and all of them got the quality feel. Second favorite would probably have to be this brown. I'm just a fan of brown. Um, really could go with any outfit you choose. Just throw it on. Like I said, cap off the outfit. Real nice small piece. All right, y'all, so recently, y'all know we got some gallery in and we just been getting some new pieces in. So here's one of the new pieces. It's a nice cream shirt. I really like the gallery because it's like real breathable but super comfy at the same time. With like a wash kind of, they, they like to do like the wash design. So it looks a little vintage, but got the, it's like a light infrared, almost peach kind of color. And then of course, you got the chest logo. But yeah, I really like this piece, especially with it getting warm out. It's some super fire colors to just throw on. But yeah, y'all, we got a bunch of new stuff in. Whole bunch of heat, come check us out. What is good, YouTube? We got a pair of shoes to match today, the Rebellion ones, so let's check it out. This right here is the Kanye Bullseye shirt. Nice and simple. I gotta do too much on the color. And this leads me to the next shoe. Let's check it out. Boom. The Supreme Dunks. I actually like these a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about these. I mean, I know seasons are about to change, but you know what I mean? You can always grab a hoodie, put it up for the fall, you know what I mean? But this is perfect to me. If you look real close, you can see that little set of blue. You know? That's why I kind of wanted to do it, you know? Most people, see a little splash of color and I think it's not enough. I think, I think you can do it. And one more thing I want you guys to leave in the comment. WRL, WRL. Did you hit or did you miss? Leave in the comments, let us know. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Clark's Corner. Let's get into it. The piece we're gonna talk about today is a piece very close to my heart. The Bling Box logo, very classic. It came out the first time in spring summer 13 um, Supreme back then things would sit on the website, but you know not like you know a long time But you know it was a lot easier to get things not so many people were into it back then um, In my opinion a lot of better like patterns and everything from back then so for them to bring this back this year is really cool um, And they brought it back in brown Brown's a really unique color. I love the color brown, and they never did it in brown before, but doing it in the brown this time, I think it's really cool with the, um, the yellow accents and the nice heavyweight Supreme sweatshirt. All right, next up, we have this really cool Supreme Team Chenille hoodie. Really cool, a lot of different colors going on. Um, it has the really nice patchwork. And the nice thing about these patches is a lot of times people do them as appliques. So it's basically like a big iron on on the other side. But if you look, all of these are actually individually stitched on the back of it, which is really cool. And like for the placement and everything to be this good on it with like the patches laying down. It's just a really unique, very, um, like the extra step, the extra effort put into it, which I really like. The colors are cool. Both sleeves have the full logo on it. So, you know, if you're wearing it on the front, you have sup down your sleeves, and then on the back, if people see you from the back, you have the ream. But I wish they would have done something on the front. That's the only downside of it for me, even if they would have done like a little embroidered logo or something. But Supreme is always famous for doing you know, the bare minimum. So like the less is more approach to it actually makes it kind of cool when I think about it. But like I said, it's just, it's kind of difficult to wear something that doesn't have anything on the front, but I completely understand why they did it. And last but not least, spider truckers. Of course, everybody wants trucker hats right now. And these are really cool, black and pink with some purple accents in them. Spider's pretty popping right now. Uh, we've been doing really well with it. 
really high quality stuff, a lot of puff ink on the hoodies and the heavyweight, like 14 ounce, um, like reverse weave fabric. Uh, but these hats are really cool. What I really like about them is all the letters and everything are embroidered, but it also has screen printing underneath it. Screen printing on a hat is especially difficult because of this fabric. And since it does have like the thickness to it, that like the spongy feel, whenever you embed that ink into it, it does have imperfections just because the fabric moves by nature. So for them to do that and then the embroidery over top of it, it's a really unique process and you need to have like special equipment to do that, especially on a hat in this shape because you can't do that on like a normal t-shirt press. Um, so like I said, it's just the extra step and effort in these things that really make it stand out because there are so many brands and everything. So you really have to set yourself apart with the quality. And of course it has the spider on the inside. So you know it's official. But for the most part, just a basic trucker hat. Um, nothing too special as far as like the structure of it or anything. So if you like trucker hats, you're gonna like this one. But that has been another episode of Clark's Corner. I know it's hard to believe. I will see you guys.